Hello, middle school. I'm Brian White. I'm the band director here, and I'm here to tell you all about the cool things we have in our fine arts department, as well as some other teachers that are, that are going to come up next. So we know you're about to sign up for classes, and we want you to stay involved in the fine arts or sign up for the first time. So the first thing I have to offer for you guys in middle school is our beginning band class. If you've never played a band instrument before, this class is for you. You can take uh, or you can learn to play the flute, the clarinet, the trumpet, the trombone, the saxophone, the baritone, or percussion. Not all of them at once, but you would pick one. And I will take you from zero to awesome in the course um, of that class. It's really cool. I'm hoping then once you take a year's worth of study on that instrument that you continue and we have our intermediate band class. We used to call it middle school band, now it's going to be called intermediate band and that's for anyone that's played a year or more. Again, we have another class after that called concert band, we used to call it advanced band. It's going to be high school plus some middle schoolers and those are for students that have played for three, two or three years or more and have some good skills on the instrument. We also offer a guitar class. It is a beginner guitar class. You don't have to have played the guitar before. Um, I used to teach that, but Mr. Jeff Wilson uh, will be teaching that next year. He's an amazing guitarist and singer, and he's super excited about that. And then we offer a rock band class, not for middle school, but I'm mentioning it here in case you play the drum set or the piano or a guitar really well, or you sing and are, want to sing um, up in front of uh, a crowd with a band behind you. That class is for high school, but I want you to keep that in mind as you're playing and learning your instrument, that you have that option in high school to join that class. So keep practicing and keep working. Now, on to the next teacher that's going to tell you all about their awesome fine arts offerings. Thanks. Bye. Hi, everyone. I'm Miss Deegan. I'm from Ireland, and I'm really excited to be joining you at ASM next year. Today, I'm here to talk to you about the middle school choir and orchestra and I would like to extend a warm invitation to each and every one of you to get involved, regardless of your level of experience. Singing in the choir is more than just about hitting the right notes. It's about expressing yourself and being part of a vibrant community. So whether you're a seasoned singer with lots of performance experience, or whether you consider yourself really shy and you're just finding your voice, the choir is a safe place where you can grow and flourish. From performing in concerts to traveling for festivals, joining the choir will open up a world of exciting opportunities for you. Now on to orchestra. In the past, the orchestra has been one class comprised of students from grade six to grade 12. From this year, there will be a dedicated middle school orchestra and a high school orchestra. This means that you can learn among peers of a similar ability and age. No matter what your level of experience or expertise in your instrument, there's a place for you at the Middle School Orchestra. So do come along and get involved. I urge you to seize this opportunity and become part of something special. Whether you choose choir or orchestra or both, you'll find fulfillment, camaraderie, and you'll have a whole lot of fun. Can't wait to see you there. Hey there, Miss Jenna in Middle School Art. I'm hoping that you can come and join us in the art room. Um, these are some of the classes that are available to you. Visual arts is a prerequisite for sixth to eighth graders. That means you have to take this class first before you take any other of the arts. Um, in this class, we do lots of different, all different materials and styles from painting and drawing to sculpture as well. If you want to expand on your technical skills, 2D art is the place for you, where we'll learn about drawing the human form, drawing the portraits, and also learning about color theory, as well as drawing still life and painting. 3D art is for those of you that love to build and make things, sculptors. We make artworks with paper, plaster, all kinds of recyclable uh, materials, and clay too. And then finally, mixed media, which is a combination of drawing and painting, as well as different types of materials like collage, printmaking, um, inks, marbling, anything you can imagine, but still developing your technical drawing skills as well. Hope you can join us. Hi guys, I'm here to talk about theater at ASM. 
So as a middle schooler, you have two options for electives in theater. There's theater one and theater two. Theater one is kind of like an introduction to theater. We play a lot of improv games, ensemble building. We act in some scenes and some monologues. And at the end of the semester, we put on a production for the ASM community and for your parents. Theater two is very similar, but you have to have taken theater one in order to take theater two. The expectations are a little bit higher. You have to be very comfortable performing in front of others and have some stage experience under your belt. And it's a little bit more academic. So if you are someone who loves being on stage, or maybe you're super dramatic, or maybe you've always just wanted to give acting a try, uh, sign up for one of the theater electives, starting with theater one, and then you can try theater two. All right, everyone, I hope you really enjoyed learning about all the cool things we have to offer in our fine arts department. So sign up for your favorite class, stay involved, be musical, be artistic, be amazing. Be part of our fine arts. Cheers. Bye. Let the good roll. Let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. I don't care if you're young or old. Get together and let the good times